this is an IVF clinic, ma'am. This is an IVF clinic. Yes, ma'am. Do you know how many babies are destroyed to possibly be blessed with a baby? Yes, ma'am. They create the conception here. Okay. Yes. So do you know how many of those created beings will be destroyed in the creation of one that they will possibly be able to have? What was that, ma'am? I can't hear you. Are you a Christian, ma'am? So when do you think life begins? So ma'am, you're not a Christian. You might believe in some of the things of the Bible, but you do not believe that life begins at conception. Ma'am, I didn't judge you. I just asked you a question and you answered it. So if you do not believe, if you do not believe in what God's word says, are you a Christian? I didn't ask you that. I said, if you do not believe in what God's word says, are you a Christian? Ma'am, I didn't ask you if you were a Christian. I asked you if you do not believe what God's word says, are you a Christian? No, I am speaking the truth to people who will kill approximately 15 babies to have one. We are. We're actually speaking truth to those who are seeking to murder children, ma'am. They are murdering children. What do you call life that is ended? Ma'am, you, you want to tell me your opinion, but I ask you simple questions and you refuse to answer them. What do you call somebody who ends a life? First off, read Matthew 7. All right, so we won't even talk about that. Ma'am. I am showing Christian love. It is a Christ's love that will warn you of the wrath that you're heaping upon yourself. And the truth of the matter is, ma'am, you are deceiving yourself and believing in a God that you have created in your own mind. I have many times, ma'am, and I also preach it. What's that? Why don't you open your heart to God? Open my heart to God. Because God is all love, right? on people who kill their own children. They are killing their children, ma'am. Conception is when life begins according to God's word. In fact, God's word declares that he knew them before they were even formed. That's true, that, that is correct, ma'am. But that is not what they do here. Yes, that is no, ma'am. They make conception. They form embryos. Then they implant the embryos. That's what IVF is, ma'am. Ma'am, you're deceiving yourself. And I pray to God that you will repent. Because if you don't, the God that you believe in will save you from nothing. You will, you will go to hell, ma'am, and I don't want to see you perish. But you are deceiving yourself into believing in a God that you have created. And you can actually put whatever name you want on that God. Ma'am, what is life? When does life begin? When does life begin? What do you call somebody who takes life, ma'am? Well, God's word says it's murder. That's what you call somebody who takes a life. Murder. Murderer. Okay? That is what God's word says. For somebody who professes to know God, you know very little of him, ma'am. More children die in places like this than in abortion clinics in this country, ma'am. This is not an abortion clinic, ma'am. What they do in here is abortions. Do you know what selective reduction is, ma'am? What is it? You do not know or you do not want to admit because, ma'am, you want to believe what you want to believe. They pick the babies that are healthiest and they kill the rest. What do you do when you take a baby in the womb out of the womb, ma'am? 
That is selective reduction. They're not taking children out of the womb. Where are they taking them from, ma'am? That's right, ma'am. They take them in and they put them in the woman. They put about six or eight in a woman, ma'am. And then they pick the healthiest and remove the rest, ma'am. Ma'am, you are deceived. You can pray all you want, but unfortunately the God you believe in doesn't hear any prayers. Actually, I do. You are speaking of him. All right? You are speaking about him. You believe in a God that you have created. You are an idolater. Excuse me, I am a born again Christian. No, I don't think so, ma'am. Because everything you're saying goes against the Bible. Everything you're saying goes against the Bible. What do you call somebody who does not believe in the Word of God? I've made up my own rules. You seeking to justify yourself telling me I made up my own rules. No, ma'am, I am using the word of God. I am using the word of God. What are you using besides your opinion, ma'am? I am not using my opinion. What are you using? Every question I have asked you according to the word of God, you have refused to answer. Because the really, really thing is, you are defending life being taken. I will definitely reap what you're sowing, and I hope you do not reap what you are sowing, ma'am, because you will reap eternal damnation. You will reap eternal damnation, ma'am, and I do not want to see you perish. But that is the deception of today's modern Christianity. You can make a God of your own choosing, of your own device, a God that fits your lifestyle and has your picture on his refrigerator. But that God exists nowhere but in your own mind. There is only one God who will judge you, and that is the God of the Bible. And he will judge you rightly, not according to what you believe, ma'am, not according to what you feel. He will judge you according to his word, and he will not be mocked, not even by someone who professes to be a born-again Christian. Jesus said, there are many who profess me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Who will defend the taking of innocent life? Who will defend the taking of life created in his image by his hand? That is what you are defending, ma'am. And he will judge you rightly according to that, ma'am. You are of the least of these.